Hello there! Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a small dog down here. Look at you say hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. My sister and I are dog sitting this week. This is our friend Faraday. I'm going to be sewing three Ogden camis. I've made several for uh, friends and family for birthday presents, but I haven't made one for myself yet. And I do have a few more presents I need to put together as well. So come along with me and I'll show you why it is one of my absolute favorite patterns. Totally off topic, but I've had this blank space on my laptop for a while and I think I found the perfect stickers for it today. I went to a art festival. Look at this one, it's so cute. And then I also found this at a little bookstore. It's a chickadee. Um, I'll try and like find the artists for all of these and then link them in my description below. Most of them, like this one, this one, this one, this one, most of them are from uh, my friend Clary who has an amazing shop called AP Obscure, I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, anyways, I'm really excited to get to put these stickers on and finish my laptop. First thing to do was to pick out fabric. This can always be hard when you've got a lot of options, but we found some good ones. So this is a poly bed sheet, and these are two cotton bed sheets, and I thought they would be great for my friends. Once I had Mimu's approval, it was time to get started. If you have a PDF pattern, you're going to have to tape all the pieces together and then cut them out. To help me cut things out, I like to trace over the line for the size that I'm using. Then we had two more sets to cut out. time once I had everything cut out to pin the straps together. While I was doing this, I kept myself busy by watching some Edwardian Farm, one of my favorite shows. And here's some uh, pajama dancing. Uh, I film my videos over multiple days, so that's why you may see me in many, many outfits. But after you have all your pieces cut out, the first thing you're going to want to do is press them. Hey. Having a good weekend? Right now, I am taking all of the shirts and just batch pinning them together, doing the same steps, getting them ready to be sewn. So I have the front and the back pieces, these here little skeddy straps, and then I'm pinning up the sides of both the front and the back and the lining pieces. <laughs> After I finished struggling which, which, with which side was the front and which side was the back, I sewed up each of the side seams for all of my camis and for my lining pieces. And here's Emmett and Evie trying to hide from the vacuum cleaner upstairs. I have liked finishing my seams with this little zigzaggy stitch I can do on my machine. It looks a lot like serging when I'm done. am frightened. I just set off the fire alarm with the steam from my iron. I, I got up to it to turn it off and ran upstairs and I was like, it's not an emergency. And then I realized I think I'm the only one inside my house. Let's talk about the project. I'm determined to finish these uh, shirts today. We have to do the hem on my shirt put in the facing and attach the straps and then I think we will be all done. So I'm very confident, let's get to it. Oh. 
after I got both the facing and the camisole side seams, sewn, side seams sewn up, I pinned down the straps to the front of the camisole so I could slide the face. And then we're just gonna rinse and repeat, baby, with the other two. And we'll do it again! Once you have the facing pinned in, it's time to sew all the way around, leaving the straps free. Any curved line will need notching put in and it's going to help you when you go to press those seams down and get a nice crisp fold. After that, all you have to do is is sew in the straps and you are done. All right, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you would like to see more, feel free to subscribe. We have lots more sewing content planned in the future, as well as other crafts that are going to be coming up in the next few months. Thank you so much again. Be brave and do your best. All right, bye.